Hello shrimps, it's me. <gasps> Did you think I'd changed then? This is a clue as to what story we're reading this week. Can you think of a story where there are some pigs? That's right, I thought you might know. It's one of our favourite traditional tales and it's called The Three Little Pigs. So we've got one, two, three, three little pigs. Now, there's not just pigs in this story. Can you remember who the other character is? He's not very nice. It's the big bad wolf. He's not very nice. Right, let's have a look at our book then, shall we? This is the three little pigs we'll be reading that this week and you can see the writing at the top of the front cover and you can see a picture underneath there's the picture look at their faces children how do you think they're feeling in that picture i think they're not very happy they look a bit worried a little bit scared and then we can see the big bad wolf what's he doing Yes, he's blowing at something, isn't he? So, the front cover tells us the title with the writing and it gives us a clue about the story as well with the characters that you can see. There's also some writing up here and it's Mara Alperin and Ag Jatowska. And these two are the people who rewrote this lovely traditional tale. Let's see if we can open it up and read the story. Might be different to one that you've heard before. There's lots and lots of different versions of the three little pigs. So let's see if it's the same as yours. You can see where the little pigs live in that picture. It's a lovely picture. It looks a bit like maybe the forest. I wonder why I think it might be the forest. Because what do we know about forests? They've got big tall trees in and there's lots and lots of trees all over and a little cottage there. Can you help me read the title? The Three Little Pigs. Oh, I can just see them. One, two, three. Let's turn the page very carefully. Wow, look at that lovely picture of the pigs in their home. There they are. There's the writing that I start to read. There were once three little pigs named Horace, Boris and Percy, who lived together in a teeny tiny cottage in the forest, just like we guessed. One day, Mummy Pig said, You're all too big to live here, so you must go and build a house of your own. But beware of that big bad wolf. Take care, your houses are safe and strong. She's telling them they need to be strong to live in. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Chuckled Horace. Not me, giggled Boris. They're not scared. And so the three little pigs set off. Before long, they reached a large field. Can you see? I'll build my house right here, said Horace, out of straw. Straw, said Percy. Are you sure? Oh, yes, Horace said. Then it's time for me to go and play. He wanted to just play. And with a pat a tat tat and a hip hip hey, Horace built a house of straw. There we go. What do you know about straw, children? Do you know anything about straw? Have you ever seen what straw is? Maybe I'll show you some straw tomorrow. But do you know what straw is? Look at the picture. Yes, it's like dried grass. It's all not very strong. What did his mum say before he left? Make sure your houses are strong. Hmm. Look, he can bend that straw. It's all bendy. 
Mm, it's not hard. No. Soon after, Boris and Percy reached the edge of the woods. I will build my house right here out of sticks, Boris squealed excitedly. Then I can go and play with Horace. Hee <laughs> hee. Sticks? Is that wise? asked Percy. It's perfect, Boris said. And with a stack, stack, stack and a tra la la, Boris had built his house out of sticks. So here's his house of sticks. Does it look strong to you? Mm, have a look at that house. Not sure if it's strong enough to stay upright. Mm, and there's gaps between the, the sticks. Do you think it's a strong house, children? Hmm, let's think about that. What do you know about sticks? Maybe unless they're stuck together, then it would be nice and hard. But otherwise, they just look like they've been placed there. They don't look like they're stuck together very hard. All afternoon, Horace and Boris laughed and danced. They had quite forgotten their mother's warning about their big bad wolf. <laughs> they are playing leapfrog, jumping over each other. But Percy plodded on. I want my house to be safe and strong, he thought. Then he came to a brickyard. This is just what I need, he said. So day after day, Percy worked with a rumbly bump, rumbly bump, and a tick tap tap, tick tap tap, and a heave ho ho, as he built his house. So he has got these very hard, really hard bricks and he's got this special, special stuff called cement which sticks the bricks together. Okay, and that's his cement mixer. So that will make sure the bricks all get hard and stick together and then nobody will be able to push it or blow it down. Until at last his brick house stood tall and proud. Look at that lovely house, children. He's done a great job, hasn't he? He's been very busy. He's not, not been playing with his brothers and having fun. He's just been building really hard work. The summer passed, then one day Horace was taking a lovely bubble bath in his little straw house when he heard something growling. <laughs> Can you make a growling sound? What could that be? Maybe that. Who is that? Who is it? It's the big bad wolf. He peeped out of the window and he saw two big beady eyes looking at him. Oh no, look. Uh-oh. By my snout, said Horace. It's the big bad wolf. Little. Oh, so the wolf knocked on his door. Can you knock on the door? Little pig, little pig, let me in. But little Horace yelled. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. You're a big bad wolf and I won't let you in. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, cried the wolf. And he huffed and he puffed and he whoosh. Horace's house blew down and down and down. Oh no. Poor little Horace. Horace yelled and scurried away all the way to Boris's house of sticks. Look out, look out, he cried, diving behind the sofa. There in the window were two big beady eyes. Oh, again. And sharp claws and sharp teeth. It's the big bad wolf. Oh no, how do you think they feel? Scared. 
Boris chattered. He knocked on the door of the House of Sticks. Little pig, little pig, let me in. But the little pigs were scared and they shouted, No, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. You're a big bad wolf and we won't let you in. Then I will hoof and I will puff and I will blow your house down. And so the wolf huffed and he puffed and he blew. Ready, blow. And crash. Boris's house clattered down and down and down. Oh no. Horace and Boris squealed and galloped all the way to Percy's house of bricks. Look out, they shouted, and Percy saw big, beady eyes, sharp, pointy claws, and truly terrible teeth peering through the door. It's the big, bad wolf, they cried. He knocked on the door, Are you ready to knock. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. No, not by the hairs on our chinny chin chin. You're a big bad wolf and we won't let you in. Then I will huff and I will puff and I will blow your house down. And so... The wolf huffed and puffed and huffed and puffed. Oh, but Percy's brick house stayed up, up, up. It didn't get blown down, down, down this time. The big bad wolf couldn't believe his whiskers. I'm the big bad wolf, he howled. No tasty little pigs ever getting away from me. Oh, help! Horace was scared. He was shivering. He's on the roof. What shall we do? asked Boris. Quick, I have an idea, whispered Percy. <clears throat> yum, 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 here I come. Who is it? Who is that? <gasps> it's the wolf. Where did he climb to? Up to the top and now he's climbing down. Uh oh, let's see where he lands. Right into a giant pot of boiling water. <laughs> oh dear. Ow, ow, ow! Screamed the wolf, burning his bottom. Then he leapt up from the pot and he ran away as fast as he could go. Wow. <laughs> After that, the three little pigs never saw the wolf again. And with help from Percy, they built one big strong house where they could all live together. Wow, look, even that house has got a slide coming out of a tower in the house. Wow, how do you think they feel now? Happy! <laughs> and they all lived happily ever after. Isn't that a lovely story? Wow! Children, aren't they clever building their own houses? Well, at least Percy was at the end. He built the best house because it didn't get blown down. But my house was built by a builder. And we're going to learn a bit about the job of being a builder this week. So, keep watching. And you'll find out more about being a builder. Percy was a good builder. 
We even saw how he built his house and it was the best way, wasn't it? And that's what builders do. Boys and girls can be builders and we'll find out more soon.